Uh, yeah, coach. Um, I guess with it being midway through the week, how are you guys feeling? Good. Uh, spirited practices uh, starting on Monday. I thought the guys did a nice job of bouncing back. Uh, obviously, uh, great to get a win and had a pep in our step. And now we got to build on that momentum and keep it going. But solid week of practice uh, so far. We still, you know, just because today's the last day in pads doesn't mean uh, tomorrow and Friday that we shut it down. And we still got a lot of work to do that we can get done tomorrow in our spiders practice and then Friday in helmets. And with that, I think we asked yesterday about waivers for the guys in Chase's class. Uh, what I want to know is uh, Bimage, he opted out last year and he came to you guys this year. Does Would he ostensibly have that COVID year of eligibility to use after this year? His situation is a little bit different, Trace. Uh, his would be because he's he didn't play last year during the COVID year. So essentially this is his uh, uh, bonus year. But there is some things that he's doing with the uh, NCAA uh that's in the works. It's really going to be in the hands of the NCAA, but it's not the same situation as uh, some of the other guys, so, uh, Nico and Jason, those guys. It's different. Gotcha. Gotcha. And on an Oregon State related note, you were on the same staff at Cal back in the mid 2000s with uh, Jim Alchek, and you guys have talked about their offensive line pretty frequently when we've asked. Uh, what stands out about the way that? Uh, Coach M coaches his guys and how his offensive lines have taken to it. Yeah, they're a very physical bunch. They come off the ball. Um, you know, they move the line of scrimmage consistently, um, technically sound, know who they're blocking, know who they're working to. And uh, so, yeah, he's done a great job with those guys. And then they have some talent, the players. I mean, it takes both, right? And um, they've done a great job with that group. And really uh run and pass game they, they are very very sound and uh you know physically gifted fantastic thank you hey, justin besides being better uh can you point to anything that's different about this oregon state team from the past recent year um well I, you know teams change every year uh jake but i think you know this team that we're playing uh plays consistently well in all three phases you know they you know that I think each of their units have helped you know win them games at times and you look at obviously offensively what they're doing scoring a ton of points and running the ball and hitting big plays they've only punted I think 16 times this season which is a really uh you know pretty low number uh special teams they've blocked kicks they got good return men and then defensively taking the ball away and uh, creating negative plays, real active uh, defensively. So just, uh, you know, there's really no weakness in their team. They're, they're uh, very good in all three phases and they have some excellent players. You, you don't hear as much about Chance Nolan as you do Baylor, but, but he's leading the league in passer rating. Can you talk about him a little bit? Yeah, I mean, he's done an excellent job. He's, uh, you know, throwing it, he's, he's kind of doing it all, to be honest with you, the drop back game, play action game, which is a big part of it. He spreads the ball around. He gets it to the tight ends, to the receivers, to the backs. He'll run it uh, in a pass situation and he'll run it on a, you know, some RPO QB run game. So he uh, has made plays with both his arm and his feet. And uh, he is uh, very much in rhythm and, you know, he knows when to take a shot and he'll send it down the field and doesn't think twice about it. You know, when he uh, decides where he's going with the ball, he's going to cut it loose. There's not a lot of indecisiveness in his play. Go ahead, Chase. Or go ahead, Trace. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'd be remiss if we didn't ask about uh, Oregon State's tight ends. They got Quatoriano and they got uh, Luke Musgrave, obviously. There's the yeah. relationship there. Uh, what have you seen from that duo in particular? It seems like they're very good in run blocking as well as running routes. Yeah, they kind of traditional tight ends, both of them. I and mean, they both can block at the line of scrimmage, play in the C-gap, block defensive ends, linebackers, safeties, uh, and then are very productive in the pass game. 
you know, down the field, quick game, uh, screens to them. Uh, they are, you know, and they'll play more than two, but those two are, are the, you know, the first two that you'll see. And, uh, you know, stature wise, they look like tight ends. I mean, those guys, and, you know, we know Luke well, we recruited him out of high school and, uh, you know, they're both six, five, six, six, you know, 250 pound guys that are athletes. So uh, very, and they do a good job uh, utilizing their skills as well. So uh, fits what they do. Thank you. Uh, Justin, anything new as far as player availability uh, from two days ago? Um, no, uh, you know, DeCarlos is still uh, day to day. Um, we're, we're hopeful that we'll, we'll get him for this weekend, but uh, nothing has been uh, determined yet. Are you still hoping for coin sometime this year? Uh, we are. It's just going to be between coin and the doctors. Um, it's, I, I think it's uh, going to be a week to week deal, um, but there's nothing imminent you know, this week. Good. David, do you have any questions? I just got on here, so I hope it hasn't uh, been asked already. Uh, just uh, the uh, the out the uh, your outside linebackers, especially the two new guys on. We all know about Cam, but uh, how have, have they really come along? Um, speaking of uh, Maj and uh, Croto. Yeah. So Braxton's played quite a bit for us in the last couple of years. Braxton is a steady guy. We always know what we're going to get from Braxton. He's a ex extremely tough guy. He's physical at the point of attack, uh, knows what to do, and uh, a guy that we count on. Uh, Marquez Bimage, you know, he's brand new this year, and so he's had a steeper learning curve, but uh, he's made some excellent plays here recently and as he's got more comfortable within the defense he's a guy that can uh, be tough to block um, on the edge and in the run game and in the uh, rush on the quarterback so he's really been noticeable in the last three to four weeks and his improvement and we're really glad that he's with us um, were you surprised when when he came in this spring Marquez yeah yeah, it's kind of a unique story, um, but it, uh, you know, he, he did not play last year and was interested right. in going to uh, graduate school here. And so we had connected with him and uh, we knew kind of some things would have to happen. And uh, fortunately they did. And, and he uh, joined us and really has been a great fit. He's a very uh, uh, focused uh, guy. He's uh, a tough guy. He practices hard. He knows uh, what he wants to do. He's a good teammate and he's really fit in well here with our team. Thank you. All good.